So you're going to want to start off this look with just concealing some imperfections. I'm just covering up my dark circles, some zits, redness, whatever. You just want a really like clean base to kind of work on and you're just going to want to blend this all in. I'm using a beauty blender. You can use a sponge, a brush, whatever you like. doesn't really matter. So now you're want going to want to go in with a cream white base makeup. So I'm just using this applying it all over my face. You can use like paint. I just like this because it gives a kind of lighter finish on the face and it doesn't crack and dry and make your face feel tight. And this does kind of apply lightly so you want to do like a couple layers. And I'm going to also bring this onto my ears and down my neck just so that it all kind of blends like Harley does. Now you look like a ghost, so um, now I'm going to move the eyes, so I'm taking this cobalt blue color in my Morphe palette, and I'm just applying this all over my lids. Don't worry too much about being neat, because it's going to just end up being sloppy anyway. So like, I'm bringing this down to give kind of like this smeared effect. I'm just using a blending brush, and I go in with like a flat brush as well, just to give a more defined line down the sides of my face. The flatter brush ends up giving like a more pigmented look, so you're just gonna want to keep adding on eyeshadow. Just kind of play with it. You don't have to be too neat. There's no really right or wrong way to do this. Just kind of pull up a picture on Google and try to copy what she's doing, or just watch this tutorial and see like what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just like darkening up these lines on the side of my face. Now I'm going in with this red color and I'm just pretty much doing the same exact thing that I did on the left side of my face. And again I'm just taking like a thinner brush and bringing those lines down the side of my face to give a kind of dripping effect. So now I'm going in with just my eyebrow color and I'm just kind of filling in my brows. Gotta get those eyebrows on fleek. <laughs> Now I'm just going in with a felt tip eyeliner, giving myself some wings just to kind of add some definition to the eyes, and I'm also lining my under eyes. And then you're just going to want to add on some mascara, just to really open up your eyes a bit. And now I am just drawing on the heart that Harley has on her cheek with a black eyeliner. And I'm also going to just go in and write the word rotten. Now you can be like super neat with this and you can try to copy the like same design that she had but I just, it's really hard to write on your face. So now I'm just taking a bright red lipstick and I'm just going to be applying this to my lips. It doesn't have to be neat because you're just going to mess it up anyway. So now I'm just taking it and I'm just kind of like smearing it on the side over here and there you have it this is the finished Harley Quinn look from Suicide Squad so let's look at me make some weird faces um anyway all the products that I used will be listed in the down bar so be sure to check that out and go ahead and subscribe to my channel and continue watching this 31 days of makeup series bye